Monday, folks. It's Mentor Monday, and this is the Mullers Woo-hoo! coming at you with Monday. some mentorship tips. So before we get started, I wanted to talk a little bit about kind of what mentorship means to us. And first of all, um, habit number four of our five habits of success is to mastermind your tribe. And your mentors are part of your mastermind, obviously. Now, we are working with anywhere from three to four mentors at any uh, given time because different mentors will bring different things to the table. And also, as our projects change, oftentimes they'll need different different mentors. So Definitely, uh, Mastermind um, has definitely been something that uh, we brought together over the last decade, but we've had pieces of, of it throughout our entire life. So when I started... Uh, really searching for mentors it was when I was an athlete Uh, and I wanted to be surrounded by people that were achieving the goals that I wanted to accomplish. Now as a teenager it was obviously a little bit more difficult to find uh, mentors but in you know within my gym I found like you know people within my gym that were at the level that I wanted to be and I just watched them and observed them they probably didn't really understand that they were mentoring me Uh, but as that developed into uh, when I transferred from being an athlete to a coach, this is when it really started helping me grow. And it is my opinion that uh, being mentored and mentoring others is the fastest way for you to exponentially grow personally. So as a coach, what I um, you know, intentionally did was seek out uh, other coaches that, that were achieving the goals that I had as a coach. And so sometimes your mentors are hired Sometimes they volunteer to help you as like a pay it forward. And, uh, and, and I, I just can't stress enough that if you want to go faster and learn from others failing forward moments, find a mentor. And uh, like David said, the mentorship should be also to qualify who that is. That person should have a vested interest in seeing you succeed. That's also very important. So. So you know, as I learned from being a teenager, crossing over a young 20 year old uh, being a coach, I realized the value of getting them on board with your vision. And every time I entered into a mentorship relationship with somebody, they were always just extremely passionate about helping me uh, with the goals that I had. What do you think is the, um, the, the, the best piece of advice you ever got from a mentor in your entire life? So I believe 100% the best advice, and there's so many great things throughout my life as being mentored that I can point out, but I think the vast, best one is to be true to you. So you can be mentored by others, but don't become them. Use what they're mentoring you to become the best version of yourself. So stay true to who you are. That is the best advice that I ever uh, received from a mentor. With that, I think we want to wrap, but I do want to tell you, Today my cup is from Curacao, Curacao in the Caribbean. This is actually one of my favorites. One of our most recent cruises that we went on. You in a, a different. Where in the world is Curacao? Here it is. It's a little island in the South Caribbean. It was one of our work. most recent cruises that we went on. You in a, yeah. a different cup. And here's mine. Day. Live your life your way, baby. Live Curacao. your life your way. Yours doesn't change very much. No, it's either my body by my cup or my live your way, your life your way. Woohoo! Woo-hoo. Muller's out. <laughs>